Okay, everybody. Let's go meet Baba Yaga. I'm going to run to her house. Do you remember where her house is? It's kind of in the northwestern sort of side of the map. So I'm just going to go ahead and hopefully avoid those goblins because I don't want to fight them right now. Here we are. This is Baba Yaga's hut. And we've made a deal with the skull, so let's go up and meet with the skull. Did you get it? Did you get my glowing gem? Yes, I did. Give me my gem! Okay, keep your pants on. Give gem to skull. You place the glowing gem inside the skull. I can see! I have eyes again! Yeah, is that what you look like? Oh well, have fun visiting Baba Yaga, and good luck, you'll need it. I hope you can remember the rhyme. You know, when I first saw that mention of the rhyme, I thought it was some kind of copy protection that I would need from the manual, so I kind of went looking through the manual for it, but no, we know the rhyme. It's head of brown, now sit down. I'm going to save the game. And you might have some inkling that I expect to die. Yeah, actually, watch this. Head of brown, now sit down. That's all you need to type. Easy, right? It is pretty easy, but don't do it while you're standing there. Bad strategy. You really brought down the house. Too bad you were under it at the time. Yeah, don't don't say the rhyme while you're standing right in front of the house. Give it some room to come down. Brown, now sit down. Let's try that one again. You can just walk right in. This is a lovely little house. Let's take a look around at what we have here. There's a spider. Is that a smile on that spider's face? Yeah, it's a very friendly little spider. There's a bat all folded up within his wings, hanging on the wall. And there's some cupboards. The plain wooden kitchen cupboard. A bed of straw. The pile of straw covered by a blanket must be the occupant's bed. And a pot with something boiling in it. There's a lot of something cooking away in the huge black cauldron. Your basic little house, nothing too, uh, too fancy. The smell is awful, the color is sickening, and you don't even want to know what's being prepared for dinner. Look, pets, we have a visitor! Powers of night, shadows of day, heed not my words, henceforth you stay! Your body is frozen by the power of the witch's spell. Well, dearies, what shall we have for supper today? Hero sandwiches? I had something more formal in mind. Ah, that's it! Frog Legs Fricassee! Now how does that spell go? Hear me, O powers of Clafa and Mana! Turn now my guest into species called Rana! Poof! I learned that spell from Erasmus, kids! Doesn't it look delicious? Be still! Critics, we can't all be gourmands, I suppose. No, soon to be supper. I don't suppose you have a name? And yes, we're actually supposed to answer Baba Yaga, so I'll just say yes. You try your best to croak out your name, or at least let the witch know that you do indeed have one. So you're the one who's trying to be a hero around here. The only good hero is a dead hero, I always say. I do have a need for a brave fool. Are you brave? I hope so. I'll say yes. You make little froggy sounds, trying your best to indicate your agreement. Well, if you're willing to do a small little teensy favor for me, I might reconsider having you for supper. I think that's blackmail, but... I need the root of a mandrake plant that grows in the graveyard. Will you be a sweet and fetch me some? I don't think we have much choice at this point, folks. I think I'm sort of obligated to say yes, because I think saying no would mean death. I'll say yes. Anything but frog legs fricassee, you think? You croak your agreement to the task. And I had my mouth watering for frog. Oh, wow. Hear what I say and hear me right. Mandrake must be pulled at precisely midnight. Take those words seriously, folks. She means it. This I tell you, and this I say. Return with the root, you're the break of next day. 
She means that too, by the way. Take her seriously on that one as well. Hear what I say and no, I don't lie. Bring back the root or else you will die. You! Shoo! From a distance, you hear the witch in tow. Oops, I very nearly forgot. Hear me, O powers of mana and more. Turn this fool back as he was before. As you contemplate the occurrences of the last few minutes, you conclude that you better find her mandrake root, and fast. Yeah, folks, Baba Yaga might have some uh, less desirable qualities about her, but she's not a liar, at least, if nothing else, what she says is true. She will kill you if you don't get her that mandrake root. Let's check our time. It's midday on day 20. So I've got some time to pass. Uh, as she said, it needs to be midnight for us to get the mandrake root. And you remember where the mandrake root was, right? If you've been watching the series of videos, you know that it's in the graveyard, yes. So, I'm gonna save the game. And, oh, I'm full on save games again. I'll, uh, replace an older one. Met Baba Yaga. Okay, and we've got some time. We've got some time to kill because... We have the undead unguent right here. That's the last thing in the list. That's all we need to get that mandrake root. And there's really nothing else that we need to do or can do until midnight rolls around. So I'm just going to pass some time in the game, maybe fight a few more monsters and wait for midnight. And then I'll continue in the next video and we'll make a trip to the graveyard. Should be fun. I'll see you then, folks. Take care.